Let's reflect on our earthly blessings. You know, we have been blessed by God. God has blessed us. But I want to let you know that I think the devil is deceiving us, making us feel that these blessings that God has given to us here on earth, we are going to enjoy it in heaven. <laughs> that is a fantastic lie. The blessings that God has given you on earth are meant to be enjoyed on earth. So you must do everything possible to enjoy the blessings that God has given you here on earth. I also believe that the blessings of heaven is totally different from the blessings of the earth. I want you to know that the blessings that the Lord has given to you here on earth may not be important in heaven. The blessings that God has given us here on earth may not be important in heaven. We must do our best possible to enjoy the blessings that God has given us here on earth. The blessings of children, the blessings of money, wealth, the blessings of car, houses, name it. They are not important in heaven. So, when we say, give us this day our daily bread, I think it's valid only here on earth. Is valid only here on earth. So, when the devil is telling you to let go the blessings of this earth for the sake of so that you enjoy it in heaven, I think there's a deception there. A, a clear deception. And I don't think that is the will of God. He said, I'm sending you to a land flowing with milk and honey. As far as I'm concerned, the land flowing with milk and honey is here on earth not in heaven i don't think there's milk and honey in heaven so when god says i'm sending you to a land flowing with milk and honey he's referring to the blessings here on earth so you must do everything possible to enjoy your blessings here on earth there are many blessings god has given to you the blessings of success Academic blessings, marital blessings, economic blessings, social blessings, name them. I don't think that we speak about economy in heaven. Or the, imagine now there are some people on earth, believe me, they are not enjoying the blessings of light. So why are we crying that our government should do something? Because we, we, we have heard that in America that they have 247 light. We are still on the same earth so why should they be enjoying 24 7 hour light they don't have darkness and here we are experiencing darkness in nigeria so the blessings of god here on earth is that there be light you want to put something in your refrigerator you have no fear because there's light you want to watch television you know how sad it is for somebody to be at home on sunday after coming back from church you want to watch movie, you want to listen to news, but you cannot because no nepa or no light. So the blessings of this earth are meant to be enjoyed here on earth. So if you are waiting to enjoy shawarma in heaven, if you are waiting to enjoy chicken in heaven, if you are waiting to enjoy a jeep car in heaven you are wasting your time here on earth you get it so whatever god has destined for you here on earth get it get it 
And for you to get it, follow the way. And Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. The way to enjoy your earthly blessings. So be careful of saying, I'm not going to chop meat for here. When I reach heaven, I go chop meat tire. I'm not going to buy a car. I'm not going to ride a car. I will use my leg, they suffer. If I reach heaven, I go I will get car. I not go sleep for better bed. I will sleep for Marco. If I reach heaven, in my father's house, there are many mansions. There's 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 executive bed there. Shame unto you. Ignorance. Ignorance. The blessings of heaven is totally different from what we are seeing here on earth. Nothing expires in heaven. Nothing. The blessings of heaven, they are unique. They are wonderful, glorious. The ones on earth here, we aspire. You think that there's a mechanic in heaven? You, <laughs> you think that there's mechanic workshop in heaven? No. Or there's hospital in heaven. So as long as you're on earth, one of the blessings you will enjoy is having... Having the resources to take care of your medical being. So if you are here on earth and you cannot take care of your medical being, you are not enjoying the blessings on earth. Your mother should be able to train you in school, take care of your hospital bills, take care of your feeding. These are the blessings on earth. Drive a good car. Your parents will take you in the very good to the church, come back from the church. These are the goody goodies of earth. It's good food, balanced diet. It's shawarma, chicken, cake, meat, pie, <laughs> fish, pie, impossible hot dog. These are the blessings on earth. Sleep on the good environment, eat good food, dress well. These are the blessings God has for us here on earth. So I pray for you today. That God will give you the grace, the wisdom to partake in the earthly blessings that God has given to you. The earthly blessings. I call them the earthly blessings. Yes. You are destined to enjoy your earthly blessings. When you get to heaven, you have heavenly blessings. But here on earth, there are earthly blessings. So I pray that God will bless you as you enjoy the blessings God has given to us here on earth. I remembered when Moses sent the spies, they went and they came back with fruits. Fruits are blessings. Imagine when the devil has so messed us up that we cannot even uh, 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 be able to buy an apple to eat. Why won't you enjoy apple? Come on, after this message, send your children to go and buy fruits and enjoy yourself. They are meant to be enjoyed. Key goats, eat goats. Key chicken, eat chicken. There is no goat in heaven. So if you are starving from eating goats here on earth, so you eat goats in heaven, you don't see goats in heaven to eat. The blessings of heaven, there is this satisfaction in heaven. That you don't even need anything. You know, one day, they said to Jesus Christ, a man had a wife. And this man died, not having a child. The brother married the wife. Died not having a child. The brother married the wife again. And at the end, seven brothers married this woman without having issue. And they said to Jesus, now master, when we get to that place we are talking about, who will not take this woman as wife? Jesus laughed at them. Some two. Laughed at them and said, no, no, no. It is here, only here that you talk about this blessing called marriage. In heaven, no marriage. So no need talking about who will marry her. Whose wife will she be? It is not in heaven. So you can see, all of us who are praying for marital blessings, it is not necessarily heaven. 
is necessary here. So you don't need to be wait, delaying to gain what belongs to you here on earth. Time is going. Ask God to bless you with your earthly blessings. Ask God to endow you with your earthly blessings. You need them. Do what you are supposed to do and enjoy your earthly blessings because they are only valid here on earth. Our heavenly blessings differ from what we are seeing here. You think in heaven I'm going to start looking for shoe to wear? Why should I wear shoe when there is no dust? And when everywhere is very sweet to match, to step on? Why should I do for shoe? It is only here on earth that you talk about umbrella. You don't need umbrella in heaven. You don't need umbrella in heaven. You don't even need vehicle. No vehicle. I think in heaven, where, where, where you want to go? You just say, I want to go to temple. You are in temple. I, I think so. You don't need a taxi driver. You don't need any wife. Heaven is a blessed place. Unique culture. So do not in any way think that, oh, I will not eat meat here. In heaven, I'm going to eat meat. I will not do this here. No. All the earthly blessings that God has destined for you and I, may we enjoy. Good children, blessed home, good environment, good, children, good, good certificate, good job. Name it. They are meant to be enjoyed. I'm not telling you that heaven has nothing good to offer, but I'm telling you what is in heaven is more than what you are thinking here. All we have here, they expire, but in heaven, they do not expire. So my prayer for you this afternoon for this Sunday lunch is that God will endow you with the grace to enjoy, possess, and enjoy all your earthly blessings. Judith, are you hearing me? Your earthly blessing, good health, good wife, good husband, wonderful children, good job, ability to buy good things and eat, ability to eat good food, just name it. Good, good things of life. I'm not saying that you should not have moderation, but you need to have them. Am I talking to somebody? Feel free and ask me questions now before I go away. All I want to tell you is that enjoy the good things of life. God has blessed you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Semadon TV, reaching the world. Semadon Television, reaching the world.